Construction companies in the state of New South Wales are going under. According to data published this month by ASIC, 556 New South Wales construction companies went into administration, receivership or a court-ordered shutdown in the 2018-19 financial year. Across Australia, that's a total of 1,515 construction companies that have become insolvent. That's up from 1,354 from the previous financial year, an increase of 11.9%. By population, New South Wales is Australia's biggest state, so it makes sense that it had the most insolvencies. However, it is also a reflection of the current state of the housing market in Australia. Over the year, there has been a 36% drop in apartment approvals across New South Wales and a 110% increase in the number of projects put on hold. If you look around Sydney, there's an increasing number of partly finished apartment projects. Not a nice look for the city. The construction industry in New South Wales actually only makes up about 6% of the total GDP, but 20.6% of the total number of businesses going into administration. Clearly, that's an over-representation. The industry is facing severe problems. Stephen Hathway, President of the Association of Independent Insolvency Practitioners, says that it is clear that the industry is facing hardship, especially the smaller companies. He said, The general feel I'm getting from talking to my fellow liquidators is that in the building industry, subcontractors just slow down paying the small construction companies. It's a spiral, and it's always a bit of a scurry at the end to make sure you get paid before it all falls over. ASIC said the most common reasons that companies went into administration were inadequate cash flow and poor financial control, loose terms that basically mean they ran out of money. In other news, the Reserve Bank of Australia are hinting at another interest rate cut as early as next Tuesday. Unfortunately for the RBA, unemployment rose to 5.3% in August, which is not what they were hoping to see. As you can see in this chart, the RBA's target for full employment, 4.5%, is looking increasingly further away. RBA Governor Philip Lowe commented, The board is prepared to ease monetary policy further if needed to support sustainable growth in the economy, make further progress towards full employment, and achieve the inflation target over time. Over the past year, there has been no growth at all in consumption per person. Household disposable income has been increasing only slowly for an extended period, reflecting both subdued wage increases and strong growth in taxes paid. More broadly, the correction in the housing market has also affected the economy through its impact on residential construction activity. Anyway, that's the current state of the construction industry in Australia. One word that comes to mind is anemic. The industry is running out of haemoglobin in its blood and starting to suffer from pallor, weakness and shortness of breath. Is there enough iron in this country to bring it back to life? Time will tell.